flower friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and it's still a winter wonderland outside. It is still April 19th, you're probably gonna see this on the 20th, but uh, I do have a bunch of stuff to show you guys today. Number one, I have some plants that came in the mail and I wanted to open them up with you guys. These are from Brushwood Nursery. I ordered from them last year a couple of plants that I gave away for Mother's Day gifts. These ones, I'm keeping for myself. Okay, so. They were always um, well packed in, the, in my experience. So, I'm your new plant. Here's some information on how to plant. That's always good. And then my summary of my order. I have three different plants here. Oh my gosh. Oh, they look so cute. Okay, so these are both clematis. This one is the Duchess of Albany. Oh my gosh. Look how big the root ball is. The root ball is 95% of what you're getting. And then there is the fresh growth on the clematis. These are, uh, I specifically bought them because they're good down to zone four and I am zone four B. So hopefully they will be able to stick around. And then this one is clematis abundance. And I'm gonna be planting these inside the deer fence, kind of on the deer fence so that maybe eventually they'll kind of grow on and around and maybe take over the deer fence. So that will be fun. So Abundance and the Duchess of Albany in these two. And then in this box, um, I know I have uh, something that is controversial, but in my climate, it's not invasive. So this is a wisteria plant in here. Let's see. I ended up giving the ones away last year that I bought. So this one I decided to keep for myself. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Now this is a dwarf wisteria, so it does not get um, as large as the other ones. Look how cute it is. Okay, so these are gonna go in the ground as soon as the snow's gone. <laughs> and the same thing, I'm gonna put this on my deer fence. So, yay! In the meantime, I am going to probably set them upright in this box and set them to the side while I do my other tasks this morning, which are, I have to pot up my coleus. So I started coleus from seed. I think it was about six weeks ago. It was early March and uh, they're doing amazing and I, I can't wait to show you guys. Here's the coleus. It looks so good. I'm so excited about it. Oof, I gotta move all of this paper from this unboxing out of the way here. So I ended up starting the coleus from seed. It was the Pinto mix from Baker Creek actually. And what I did is I sprinkled it all into one of those takeout food trays because the coleus seeds are very small. So I was like, yeah, I'm not dealing with this. So I just sprinkled one packet, I bought two packets. I sprinkled each packet into a small takeout tray and then um, pricked them out and then potted them up into these 38 plug trays. I did have a few more, but I just took the biggest ones and potted them up. I'm regretting not taking the smaller ones and potting them up too, but I took the 38 best looking ones. And what am I gonna do with these? Well, there are a couple of things you can do. Coleus does actually make a good cut flower. In fact, so many people comment about how easy it is to propagate cuttings. So you can do that and you could also pinch them to make them bushier. I think I'm gonna take half of them and maybe pinch half of them. And I'll take the tops and maybe propagate the tops. And the way that I'm gonna propagate it is I'm literally just going to put it in a cup of water, just the tops. And what I'm told is that the roots will start to grow just in the water. And then you can plant that once the roots are showing. Okay, so a better idea of how big these babies are. Okay, so here's what we're dealing with. That's gorgeous. This is not even my favorite one, but the root system is super lovely, healthy, but you can see if I were to cut this right here, how it would branch out on the bottom. Now, for me, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should just let the whole thing grow into a long, tall stem, and that would be better for me as a bouquet, or if I should pinch it and see how long the side shoots get. I don't know, I've never grown coleus from seed before. It's my very first time. But I can see how the bottoms are starting to branch out on all of these. So if you're looking for a nice big landscape coleus, I would go ahead and pinch them. And it might even be the better idea to pinch them for cutting as well. I just don't have experience growing it for cutting, so I am not sure. 
Uh, this makes me so excited to start this from seed for years to come. If I'm being honest, uh, a lot of people don't like coleus. They think it's kind of just ugly. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and especially seeing, where's my, where's the pink one? Like, they're just so fun. Like, look at this one. It's just so different from any coleus that I've seen. Ugh. And I posted a picture of this on my socials the other day and I had such a reaction to people wanting to know if I was gonna have this for sale at my seedling sale. So I decided, all right, I really wanted to keep some for my cutting purposes. I think they're beautiful and they make great filler for your bouquets. So I'm gonna keep the majority of them, but I am gonna put a few for sale at my seedling sale. But what I'm gonna do now is I want them to grow even bigger, especially the ones for my seedling sale. So I'm gonna go ahead and pot them up. <gasps> Every time I look closely at these, I have a new favorite. <laughs> this one is, this one's ready, like a couple more weeks and I could cut that and put it in a bouquet. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing is using recycled pots. So last year I had a huge shipment from Proven Winners and they sent me hundreds of hydrangeas and lilacs and berry bushes, all those things. I kept the little four inch pots that those all came with. I washed them all out and now I'm gonna repurpose them and use them to pot up my seedlings. I even saved the handy dandy trays. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up the trays with the pots. Eight pots, I'm gonna go fill these with soil and then I'm gonna add the coleus. Okay, so I have filled this with my Vermont compost. It's the potting soil, soil blocking mix, all in one. And then I'm going to just pluck out a few of these. I'm keeping the same soil level on these. I'm not um, burying them at all. Oh, they're so cute. All right, I'm gonna pinch this one and this one. I'm gonna get some of the shorter ones in here. They're shorter. Okay. You're cute. This one's smaller. Give it some space and it'll take over. Because the taller ones are getting so tall that the ones on the edges are getting, um, oh wow, that's beautiful with the, the inside pink on the petals, wow. So I'm taking out the ones on the edge because they're the ones that are kind of struggling to find the light which means they're a little bit, I mean, this one's like a, like a quarter of the size of the other ones. Give them more room, find the sun, artificial light, same thing. Wow, the dustiness of these petals is incredible. I just love the dustiness of the petal. So pretty. Okay, so I moved that other uh, tray out of the way and I wanna talk about basically propagating coleus. I've been doing some research and you can do it in soil or you can do it in water. They say water actually works a little bit better. You don't have to use anything, any like root hormone or anything like that. You would literally just take the cutting and put it in a fresh glass of water and leave it there. Change the water every other day and check for root growth. Once the root growth is between one and two inches long, you take it out of the water and plant it in some fresh soil. So I'm gonna try that on a bunch of these that are a little bit bigger now. Multiple angles here. Okay, so here is one that I'm gonna do right above this right here. I just snipped it. I did snip it at a little bit of an angle and I'm gonna put it in the water. I'm gonna go ahead and do the one behind it as well. I have to put some more water in here. <laughs> I'll grab a few more. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful bouquet already. Look at that one. That is glorious. They all are, really. Oh wow. Oh wow. I cannot look at these without falling in love with a different one every time. But this one is my original favorite. I think it still is. I just love it so much. This one's nice and tall. I'm gonna grab this one. Oh, 
Let's make that down in there. And then the green one. Oh, I love this green one. Let me see. I'm gonna strip these. Sorry. Oh. Actually it smells kind of good. Like not in like a floral way, but in like a earthy way. I am not doing you, you're fantastic. I'm not clipping you. Okay, this is the last one. I'm gonna need more water for this one. <laughs> that one's a little short. Okay, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six that I have trimmed and basically chopped the tops off and stuck them in the water. So I'm gonna have to add more water because I do have some that are not touching the water right now. Gotta put more water in the cup. No big a deal, just keep an eye on it. And I guess the worst thing that can happen is leaving it in the water too long after the roots develop can lead the stem to rot a little bit. They just say to watch out for that. Otherwise, we should be propagating coleus in no time. Okay, I'm gonna go add water to this, pot the rest of these up, and that's about it. And I have some other stuff to pot up today. I have asters that I started in a channel tray. Those need to be potted up into 72 plug trays. And then I think I have some oregano that I need to pot up as well and then a little bit of basil. So it's a potting up kind of day. Um, also, it's a great time for me to do that because with 12 inches of snow on the ground, there's really not much I can do outside. So the temperatures are warming. The snow is starting to melt. It should be gone within a couple of days. I'll keep you guys posted on the progress of that. In the meantime, here are the daffodils that I harvested before the snow came. I left them out here in the garage. The pellet stove has been blowing on them, so they are starting to open. They're just kind of, I don't want to call them plain because they are beautiful in their own right, but they're the kind of common daffodils. They're always the first ones to bloom here on my farm. It'll be probably another week before we see the fancy daffodils. So they smell like spring though. That makes me so happy. So I get to enjoy these here while I'm working. Thanks for sticking around guys. We'll see you soon. came with these handy dandy trays. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the trays in here and then I'm gonna fill it with soil. And then, this is not, this is not the right one. Why is this not right? Not the right tray. Stand by. I know I have the tray for it. It's not fitting. Fill the pots and fill the pots with coleus, with coleus, with coleus, with coleus. 